If you haven't done so, please be able to subscribe, like, and share. Um, okay, this is part 2 on how to put a wover on mana series. Um, beforehand, I placed one, and here should what here should be the accomplishments I've for all of my instructions. Uh, yeah, I'll just give it. I'll just show you. A, I'll just let it drive around for a minute or so. <laughs> being, being careful. I also done some small changes. Um, yeah, but you guys should fit. Then you guys, I'll tell you what changes they are. Got mess around with traction control. Um, Okay, um, that's it. Whoa. Okay, um... Next that building, shall we? Um, okay. I after testing it, I done a few small changes. Um, okay. Let me get the craft out first. Ignore the top part. Um. I moved the RTGs towards the back and apart from that, all same basic design. I also added this small inline reaction wheel as in called my control here, this small one. Yeah. Okay, now um this upper section, I'll go through it right now, how to build it. Get um, this small decoupler. Make sure the arrows are pointing downwards. To leave some spacing between this and the upper stage, um, place a modular grinder segment. Now would be a good time to check that your center of mass is near the center, which should be directly above it. Yeah, like that. Should be fine. Then get um the uh, a probe core. In this case, I'm choosing this OKTO. Make sure the blue logo is facing downwards, or the orientation will be messed up. Okay, time to add fill tanks. Get Oscar B fill tanks and make symmetry mode 4 and just attach it with this. Get um, two of these. Okay, you know what? This is fine. And then just add um these four twitch liquid fuel engines. Place them underneath here. You can get rid of that irritating center of mass overlay now. 
Um, also add a reaction wheel on top here. The reason why we are adding so much reaction wheels is cause um it's because um the rover is slightly off balanced, so it'll help the it'll help it stay balanced and not tip over while doing anything. Just plop that and some solar panels. This is what you need to get. Oh yeah, wait, antenna. Always put antenna. Just add two of these. Yep. This should fit in the fairing. Mm. Should. Yep. This is what you need to get and don't go minus of it. Low. I emphasize the low part. We have most of it still remaining. Now I'll tell you what you need to get into Earth Orbit. Oh dear. Okay, you need to get this stuff into Carbon Orbit. I don't care if it's low or whatever. Just get this part into Orbit, okay? Um, this time make sure the arrows are facing upwards. And then um Okay, um at Lego I'll have some spacing too, but a fill tank would be good enough. Add a fairing. Just make it big enough to encase the whole thing. It'll probably be weird looking. Yep. Always increase injection force. And I feel tag and that should be enough. Oh yes. Um more reaction wheels. The engine, um, pull the engine would be fine. Um, let me check the propellants. Blah blah blah. Just gonna pull the engine. Get this into no carbon orbit. Um, that should be it. Uh, you can launch it into carbon orbit anyway. One. Um, I'll just do it my own way. The super expensive and over, super expensive and probably don't need to be that big way. Right? Um, I'll get my editor to fast forward this part. We can copy the basic design if you want. Um, that's it. Um, go not launching it then. Um, in part three, I'll teach you how to fly this thing, but I'll only continue once we reach of orbit. Um, we'll come in orbit, I mean. Okay, see you guys later. Please subscribe. Um, check out our other videos if you haven't done so, and maybe check out part one too if you haven't done so. 
Make sure you watch the full video before doing anything crazy. Okay, bye.